hello ladies and gentlemen welcome back to my channel uh things are happening guys big things are happening in the world of uh, financial world in the political world and uh i tend to f believe something is cooking something massive is really really cooking something in the in the areas of war probably but uh, the way countries are posturing, the way uh, countries are realigning themselves, something big is coming. And uh, the intelligences of, uh, of every country know, knows a lot of what is happening that is never even released to the masses. Like there are rumors that uh, Russia's, uh, a Russian hacker group just attacked NATO military servers, they're 60% down. They are, the US has just sent F-22s into Poland to replace the F-15s. Uh, it seems uh, the US is having more meetings with Australia and uh, the UK. Uh, the U.S. is moving its military troops uh, to Philippines. So there are so many spheres of war that are happening right now. There are so many things that are happening. But today, let's talk about the dollar. Uh, what is all this news we are all hearing about the dollar and it's losing its value? And what is the effect, especially to us as Kenyans? The dollar has for long been uh, the world's reserve currency. Every country in the world uses the dollar to trade or used has been using the dollar because right now uh, things are changing. Uh, but the dollar was set up as a reserve currency uh, in a system called the Bretton Woods system whereby uh, the US being the ultimate superpower uh, and having the strongest economy post-World War II uh, the world agreed to have the dollar as the reserve currency because the U.S. at that time had uh, uh, the biggest reserves of gold. But uh, and the dollar was really strong because the, the, the U.S. really had big, massive uh, reserves of gold. And it was very strong also economically. It was trading with everybody already in the world. Uh, but then the U.S., uh, the U.S. Uh, did away with the Bretton Woods system <coughs> in the 70s. President Nixon, President Richard Nixon, who uh, abolished that system because uh, uh, the U.S. was just uh, probably wanted to push more money into the system and gain from it being the sole distributor of money. So the U.S. has caused a lot of inflation because of uh, overprinting money and misusing their status as a reserve currency country. They have been printing a lot of money, causing inflation worldwide, uh, using the dollar against countries that disobey or go uh, against the U.S.'s foreign policy. And uh, finally, the world is waking up. And people have realized the U.S. still doesn't export anything anywhere today. Apart from weapons and its uh, uh, platforms, uh, its uh, IT uh, softwares like uh, Google, Facebook, the U.S. doesn't manufacture anymore. It's, it outsources most of its manufacture. So the only thing the U.S. has been holding on the world is through the U.S. dollar. It acts as a broker for other countries' trade. The biggest uh, exchange of currency is done in the U.S. And uh, that's where the biggest exchange. It's called uh, Chick, I believe. Uh, chip, chips, chips, yes. Chips. There's an institution called Chips. That's an acronym. It does the, 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 it does the exchange of currency in the U.S. So most countries are now walking away from the U.S. because it has misused its status. 
it has been sanctioned it started with russia after being sanctioned against uh, use it realizing the financial system of the us and uh, russia decided to sell its energy in rubles and it bypassed the us and other countries now have realized what the need of using the us dollar why don't we zimbabwe is using gold coins it is also under sanctions from the us and uh, china also which is uh, under sanctions from the us uh, most of its products has decided to use its own yuan and uh, the us has been left with its own papers because the wealth of the world is not in papers it is in resources and the us doesn't have resources it only has paper this is going to cause total economic collapse of the us and it has already started homelessness is at an all time high right now in the us cities are crumbling the eurozone seems to be growing cold feet in relating to the us uh, the french president was in china recently to try and um, uh, mend ties with uh, china there is so much demonstrations going on in france right now because of the economic situation and the entire eurozone right now there is inflation massive massive inflation economic situation of europe right now is collapsing yet russia is performing well the russian ruble is grown in uh, value the russian economy is uh, doing good it has got a new clients for energy russia is even selling oil to saudi arabia which is reselling again to other countries <laughs> and saudi arabia is purifying its no oil now for use domestically but they are getting russian oil cheaply refining it and selling it to other countries so countries have learned how to survive without the us countries are already moving away from the us and uh, even european countries are starting to question hungary is not very close to the us france is like breaking ties right now with the us and preaching that to other countries to break ties with the us so what does it pertain to africa uh for us it is high time we ditch the dollar it has cost so much inflation they hold it when they want they flood the market with it when they want they control the entire performance of every economy in the world with the dollar so it's high time we ditch the dollar started trading in our own currency started trading with our own resources and uh i believe we are going to survive the on coming economic and uh, political storm if we start trading amongst ourselves and trying to <clears throat> uh, interact more as africans and trade because we already have almost everything and attract these other countries that are willing to work with us to come and invest in our countries so what do you think uh, share subscribe and thank you for support see you on the next one